Hello, my name's Karen Swan and I'm the author of this book, The Tale of the Whale, which is a story of a friendship between a child and a whale as they go on a journey of discovery across the ocean. Wouldn't it be amazing to have a whale as your best friend? Imagine the adventures that you would have, although I'm not sure they would fit in the bar. I thought we could have a go at making a whale friend of our very own to keep. This whale is made out of an egg box. If you want to have a go, here are the things that you will need. An egg box, some paper. Um, I've gone for blue for my whale for the little splash that comes out of the top, but any colour will do. I got mine from the recycle bin. I've got a messy apron because I'm going to be painting, a pair of scissors, a marker pen, a little pot for the paint and a paintbrush and some paint, any colour you like. Again, I've gone for blue for my whale and you'll also need some glue. So to start with, we need to cut out the shape of our whale and we actually need to use a little bit more of the egg box than just one circle. So what you need to do is perhaps have a look at your egg box. We're going to take this section here, but we also need a little bit of this section here. Now you may need a grown up to help you with the scissors to cut this bit out. So we're just going to cut along and down here. Let's just cut that little bit off the top there. And then up the side of this bit. And then again around the other side. And down. It's quite tricky, so as I say, you might need a little bit of help to get your egg box bit ready. And then up the top there. You need to cut that little bit off there. And then we are left with this shape, which is going to make your whale. We're actually going to turn it upside down. And then as you can see, a little extra bit that we saved there is going to help to make the tail. So the next thing we're going to do with our egg box that we've cut out with the little tail piece is give it a coat of paint. Now you can pick any colour paint you like, it doesn't really matter. I've gone for a blue whale. So I've got some blue paint here and I'm basically just going to cover him in paint all over. All over the top. Make sure you get that bit in the top there. Around the sides. It's a little bit messy. Make sure you've got your messy apron on as well. That's the other thing to do, isn't it? A little bit of paint all over and it's best to do this bit first because we can then leave our egg box section to dry whilst we work on his other bits that we need to make. Let's just finish off with his tail section. There we go. And then we put him to one side to dry. So while our egg box is drying, we need to make a few more bits for our whale. We need two fins and a tail fluke. And to do that, we just need a piece of scrap paper out of the scrap paper drawer, or if you've got some blue paper lying around or any color really, doesn't really matter. We're going to draw on the piece of paper. So we need to make the tail fluke, which kind of goes up and down and up, up and down and up, and then a big curve under the bottom. A bit like that. It doesn't have to be perfect because we're going to be cutting it out anyway. And then two fins for the side, which are a bit like a teardrop shape or a pear. And they're going to go like that. And there you go. And then we're going to cut them out. So a pair of scissors again, you might need a grown up to help you. And we're going to cut round the shapes. Like this. It's a little bit fiddly. So if you do need some help, make sure you ask for some. There's one. Let's cut round this big bow shape here. This is called a tail fluke on a whale. 
It is the tail of the whale. There we go. It doesn't have to be too neat. Just as long as we've got roughly the basic shape there. Oh, I'm going to do the other fin as well. One more fin on this side. Let's cut it around like that. It's a bit like a teardrop shape, isn't it, this one? Or like a droplet of water, like a raindrop. So again, cutting it round like that. And there we have it. So a tail fluke and two, sorry, two fins and a tail fluke. So while our egg box is still drying, the next thing we need to do is to make the splash that comes out of the top of the blowhole of the whale. It's this bit here on our whale. And for that, we're going to need a rectangle of paper. Again, it's the same paper as I used last time, but whatever you've got lying around will be fine. So we're going to take our rectangle and we're going to cut about a third, two thirds of the way down the piece of paper. And that's just little strips. We're not going to go right to the end. We're just going to cut some strips into the paper like this. We're going to cut it all the way along the paper, but not over the edge of the paper so that it stays attached. So we'll go all the way down here, like this, there's little tiny cuts. And each strip is not very wide, as you can see. And again, if you need a grown up to help you with the scissors, that's absolutely fine. All the way along like this. There we go, it's probably far enough. So I'll cut that bit off there. And then you're left with a piece of paper like this, with like a fan on it. Then what we're going to do is going to take the piece of paper and roll it up like this. You can do it round a pencil if you find it easier and then roll it up again a bit smaller. But the idea is, is that you make a shape like this. I might want to do that a little bit tighter later. So then we can open up our bits there. So once that's been rolled, you can then take these and roll them over your finger like this. And that makes the splash go outwards. Like again, you can do it over a pencil if you prefer. I just do it over my finger. So then take your splash again, roll it up as tight as you can. Oh, it's a little bit fiddly again. I'll open it up like that. And then your little splash will open out. There we go. So here's our egg box from earlier, which is now dry enough for me to do something else to. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the tail section, give it a little bend upwards. Now then, our whale needs a smiley face. So we've got to find the middle, so work out where your tail is, roughly down the middle of the front. And we're going to draw a couple of eyes on our whale with the marker pen. Like that. And then our whale needs a big smiley face. There we go. He looks cute like that, doesn't he? So the next thing we're going to do with our whale now is make the little hole that goes in the top to put his splash out of his blowhole. And to do that, we need to place a little hole in the top here. Now, I suggest you do get a grown up to help you with this because we're going to put the scissors through the top. Um, sometimes we like to put a bit of plasticine or blue tack or something underneath to push down on 
I'm tending to use just the egg box to lean on. I'm going to put my whale on the top like that and make a little hole in the center. Doesn't have to be a big hole, just enough to get the splash in the top later, but it's easier to do it now so you don't have to hold the edges. So here we have our little whale. Next thing we're going to need is some glue. And again, it's really simple. We're going to take the two side fins like this, pop a little bit of glue on the back and pop them on the side of our whale, like that. Same with this piece. Let's make that one up there. Little bit of glue on the side. And on that side with our whale. And then we're going to take the tail fluke, which is this piece here. Little bit of glue on that much there and pop that on our whale. So the last thing to do with our little egg box whale then is to give him his water splash. That comes out of the blowhole at the top here. So when the whale goes down the bottom, when he comes up to the top of the surface, he blows the air out of the top and that gives a big splash of water like this. So we're going to pop the splash that we made earlier in our whale. So here you have it, a whale friend of your own. Perhaps you could give him a name. What adventures would you go on together? Maybe write a story about it or draw a picture. There are lots more ideas over on my website, karenswan.com or on Scallywag's website, scallywagpress.com with activities that you can try. You can even make a whole family of other sea creatures, perhaps to write or to draw about. Or you could head over to Moon Lane TV to hear the story of the tale of the whale and more about the message that the whale wants us to hear. I hope you've enjoyed making your whale and I hope you enjoy the story of the tale of the whale. Make sure you pass whale's message on. Thank you.